Roswell flight test crew here at the Drones Data X conference in San Francisco and I'm here with Cameron Gia from Velodyne. How are you doing Cameron? I'm doing great Patrick. Good to see you. Nice to see you sir. Now what is it that you guys do here at Velodyne? So Velodyne is a manufacturer of LiDAR. LiDAR in this application is a spinning array of 16 different lasers all inside this little thing which we call the puck. Each laser is emitting light and we're monitoring the time it takes for the light to get back to the sensor and then producing an image basically of a 3D rendering of the space that we're standing in. What we're seeing on the screen here is a display of what the sensor is seeing. So in real time we're basically capturing 16 channels of 3D data of the facility. So if I move it up and down you can actually see as, it, as the light moves up and down. And this is at proper rendering of the physical space we're inside of. So it's like radar except using a laser instead. Absolutely. What do people use this technology for? So today the biggest driving market for LiDAR is autonomous driving and navigation. So within a couple of years see this technology on every automobile on the road in autonomous driving mode. So that's the big giant market. But of course we're here at, at DroneX today. And in the drone market, you can use this for gathering data as opposed to navigation. So we have customers doing things like mapping. We have customers doing forestry. And in the forestry world, there's a really interesting feature this has called dual returns. So each of those laser beams that I'm sending out, I can actually capture them twice. So if I was to look at an object like a leaf, a little bit of laser passes by that leaf, I can capture both returns. So I can scan a forest and I can show you the canopy, and I can remove the canopy and software and show you the forest floor without the trees. Wow, that's impressive. This thing must generate a titanic amount of data. I mean, just in one or two seconds of operation. It does, it does. So the data rate is about one megabyte per second. This is making 300,000 points of localized 3D data per second. So it's a huge amount of data. Velodyne doesn't do software, by the way. We depend on very intelligent software customers that can take this sort of data and render it into a meaningful picture. Well, fascinating stuff. I'll be exciting to see as this gets deployed more and more in drones how it goes. Absolutely. Thanks for taking the time, Cameron. No worries, Patrick. My pleasure. All right. And from Drones Data X 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.